One of the biggest preparations is making sure they have enough ballots so we won't see a repeat of the ballot fiasco a year ago in the general election. The election commission has ordered 100 percent ballots so that every registered voter in Hines County will have access to the ballot. This as we're still seeing voters lining up to cast absentee ballots. Across the metro, absentee voting in full swing just days before the general election. Tuesday, long lines at the Hines County Courthouse in downtown Jackson and the courthouse in Raymond, where voters waited to cast ballots. The biggest thing for me is the presidential race. Thomas Johnson is among the 8,700 people who've already voted absentee in Hines County. You go through these things every four years, and when you make the right choice, you know that you've done the right thing, you know. So I made the right choice. What is it that's really driving you this year? Uh, the economy, economics. That's it. It is higher than, than the average election. For days, the Rankin County Courthouse in Brandon has been busy with mostly elderly and disabled people who want to vote absentee. Okay, today we're going to reach 10,000 absentee voters. Uh, our, our lines, we've had a line all week, even last week. We always had someone at the door to vote. Rankin County Circuit Clerk Michelle Adcock believes media attention on the presidential race is driving people to vote early, though in Mississippi, you must have an excuse to vote absentee. Uh, over 65 or disabled, that's our number one excuse. Um, but there are people that have medical procedures. At the Hines County Election Commission. And we are confident that everything will go the way it is supposed to go. The staff busy making last minute preparations for the November 5th general election. Is Hines County ready? We are. We've ordered 100% of the ballots. These boxes filled with 167,000 ballots. That's one for every registered voter in the county to prevent a repeat of the ballot shortage fiasco in the 2023 general election. Now, 10 precincts changed this year in Hines County. The Election Commission says they will have signs prominently displayed so that any confused voters will know where to go to find the correct polling place on Election Day. For now, we're live at the Hines County Courthouse. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.